Hello everyone and welcome back for another Clubhouse Sketches. I'm really excited to show you how to draw uh, Professor Solomon's dog right here. Uh, he's a little sad right now because he ate all the strawberries from the baked Alaska. Um, but you know, he actually doesn't have a name. So how about you have an adult help you put your favorite suggestion um, for his name in the comments of this video and maybe we can give him a name after this. This video is going to be a little bit shorter than usual, uh, so I thought I would take the time to show you kind of some of my favorite warm-ups before I start drawing. Art is just like every other sport, you know, you need to warm up for that. So um, what I like to do to start off is I, before I even pick up the pencil, I like to rotate my wrist. So I will just take my wrist and just kind of do, you know, some of these movements. Sometimes I'll shake out my entire wrist, you know. Um, but, you know, just do that for a little bit, you know, maybe rub it, warm it up a little bit. Um, but then I like to pick up my pen or my pencil and I like to do some lines. So I'll go from top to bottom, top to bottom, top to bottom, top to bottom. And I'm really just trying to make sure that there's you know the same width and they're the same length you know just to kind of train my eye back and then i will do the reverse i'll go from the bottom to the top bottom to the top bottom to the top And then after that, I'll go from left to right. So left to right, left to right, left to right, left to right. And then on my next section, I'll do right to left, right, left, right, left, right, left right, left. Now you can see that this kind of, um, these lines are a little bit scratchier. That's because it doesn't really feel that great for my wrist and my arm to move that way. It's not very natural for me. Um, but you know, as you're doing these, kind of pay attention to which one feels natural for you. And when you do the lines on the dog, you know, if in my video, if I'm going from the top of his collar here down to his tail, um, that feels natural for me. But for you, it might feel more natural to go from the bottom, or sorry, the top of his tail up to the bottom of his collar, which is perfectly fine. Everyone has their own natural feeling that feels good to them. Um, but after I've done this, then I like to do some little spirals. There we go. And then I just, again, I do the same in the reverse. And then sometimes I'll do what's called stippling, where it's just a bunch of little dots. Just like that. And this just kind of helps me with like my precision when I'm drawing to make sure that I'm putting the lines exactly where they need to because I'm having to quickly tap my pen where I want it to go. Like right now I'm creating shading with this stippling because it's a darker area here that slowly comes out to be a lighter. Oh, 
All right. So now that we're all warmed up, if you haven't already, go and grab another sheet of paper for us to draw Professor Solomon's dog. All right. So welcome back if you've went and had to pause the video and get supplies. Uh, if you haven't, thanks for sticking around. So let's get started. We are going to start with the dog's nose right here because everything kind of depends on his nose. You know, his snout, his head, all of that is determined by his nose. So we are going to start. like this. So you're going to make like a little hook and then loop it around and make a circle. And then we're going to take the line from the top of the nose and go back just a little bit. And that is this line right here. And then let's do the bottom. So kind of right here from the bottom of the nose, we're going to do this. And then his lower lip. Does that make sense? So you're going to come down and make a little arch and then another little hook. And then a little bit before that, you're going to come here and make uh, like a little crescent shape underneath and then make a larger crescent shape. So that ends up being his. Um, the bottom of his muzzle right here. And we'll add in all this detail at the very end. Don't worry about that right now. So let's go back to the top. We're going to start right here. And we are going to go up and across like that. And like I said um, in one of the previous videos, if you need to turn your paper, go right ahead because that's what I'm going to do. Because this feels more natural for me to do my wrist like that. There we go. So now we have the top of his head. And let's go ahead and add in his ear. So at the top of his head, you're just going to do this and then we'll flicks. And these little like hair flicks don't have to be perfect. They don't have to look exactly like mine. Um, you know, he can, he can wake up with bed fur, as I like to call it, when my dogs wake up and their fur is in all different directions. So let's do his ear next. So right here, we're going to take that line, just pretend there's an imaginary line, right at the top, and we're going to make a little hook like this. And then from that hook, we're going to go out a little bit and then do some more fur tufts and then kind of come down and then around. Oh, that did not feel good on my wrist at all. It did not like that. Here we go. Let's clean that up a little bit. And then we're going to add some more little fur tufts right there. And then that is his ear. Now let, we're going to add in his eyes. So kind of about take his, let's see what's a good reference point from We'll start with his ear. Let's do, let's actually do his little eyebrows first. So we're going to come out a little bit from his ear and make this arch and then do this because he's sad. He didn't mean to eat all the strawberries, but they were just so good. 
And then right below that, we are going to do the puppy's eyes. There we go. So you're gonna make an arch and then another arch underneath it. And then kind of like an S shape for his eyelashes. And then we'll put in his eyes. There we go. And then we'll add his other eye. As you can see it right here. We'll add that. There we go. All right, good job. So we've gotten his head all done. And now let's just do the fur right here around his collar. And I'm just kind of freehanding these shapes. You know, you can do them however you want. But we're gonna make them into an arch shape. And something that I find useful when I'm trying to freehand around a shape, I will very lightly go in and kind of make the arch that I need in pencil. And then I'll go over it in my pen and make the tufts that way. But that way it kind of helps me keep the shape that I want of this arch. So now let's go ahead and do this collar. We do a little line right here on either side. And there we go. We're just kind of following the arch. There we go. So we're gonna draw a line here, and then draw a line here, and then you're going to connect them like this. And then just draw a little circle right here for his dog tag. So let's do his chest. We're gonna work on this part right here, okay? And now these are the exact same thing. You don't have to have your little fur um, tufts the exact same way. You can draw these however you want. You know, if you want to make um, make him a long haired dog, you can make these hair tufts longer just by doing this. Let's see how I made these a lot longer, whereas his is really short, but mine. That's how you can make him maybe like a little more of a long haired dog if you want. I'm gonna make him short haired. So we're just gonna do some quick little uh, fur tufts, little back and forth shapes. Kind of like if you were making a Z. And I'm going to stop kind of like right where his ear is. And then let's go ahead and we're going to draw his leg right here. I'm going to come down. And that's the front of his leg. go. 
that all makes sense. So we're going to start. Um, and I just kind of picked a point. Um, I have dogs, so I kind of, I know how they move a little bit and everything. So start maybe just a little bit, like about an inch above where his fur is and then bring that line down. And then we're going to do the same thing and we're going to work on this leg now. So just draw a straight line down. Almost looks like he's wearing socks. And there we go. And that is his other front leg. So what we're going to do, we're going to move um, away from its paws and we're going to go and start right up here um, where his, the back kind of comes down and we're going to work on his tail. So remember, this is kind of where I said that if, as you're watching me do this, if you would rather go from the bottom up that is perfectly fine. It's all about what feels more comfortable to you. So we're going to start here. Go down. And make like a little hook shape. So if you were going up, do this little hook. Go up. And just kind of follow that line up here. There we go. That all makes sense. And then let's do his back legs. So a little bit behind here. This is going to be his back legs. So just a little bit of a curve and then go straight back. And then the same thing. You're gonna make this little, like almost like a, as if his paws were in a sock. We're gonna go here. And draw his back legs. Now to finish off his other back leg, we are going to do the exact same thing. We're going to draw his paw and then pretend that there's a line right here. So we're going to take our pencil or whatever you're drawing with, draw this bottom line, pick it up, continue to move, and then when you get to the edge, you're going to put it back down and go across. And then we're going to add in this little fur right here. So just a little quick like that. Let me show you how I like to do um, the tail. I'll show you how I, that technique that I showed you of putting in pencil really lightly up here. I'm going to show you right here with the tail. So I'm going to do S. I don't know if you can see that very well, but I drew, let's see. Let's make this a little bigger for you. There we go. This is why I draw all mine in pen. <laughs> so that way you can see it really easily. Um, so that tells me the shape I want for the tail. So when I go in with my pen, 
I know that I have a guide for how I want my tail to go. And then when I'm done, I just go in and erase it. All right, so Professor Solomon's dog is almost done. We're just going to add in the strawberries on his mouth and on his chest and on the ground. So let's start with those first. Let's do little puddles. And these you don't have to be very exact with. You know, I'm just kind of looking at this, drawing it as I see it. Doesn't have to be perfect. Let's just add these little, little marks right there. Okay, there we have it. We have Professor Solomon's dog. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Clubhouse Sketches. Remember to have an adult help you uh, upload your, um, your creation into the comment section or they can email us at alumni at longwood.edu. See you next time.